Hello, welcome to the quick start tutorial of the LightScribe template labeler. As the name suggests, the template labeler uses pre-designed templates to quickly create custom LightScribe labels and is the perfect complement to the simple labeler. If you don't have an icon already on your desktop, you can locate the shortcut by going to the start menu item, all programs, LightScribe direct to disk, and look for the LightScribe template labeler shortcut. To make it simpler for next time, you can copy the shortcut over to your desktop by holding the control key on your keyboard and then dragging this shortcut onto the desktop. Since I already have an instance of the template labeler opened, I'll just go ahead and use that. The template labeler uses the three-step process just like the simple labeler. First, select a template you'd like to use here on the left pane. You can either use the scroll bar or simply hover your cursor over the selections and use your scroll wheel on your mouse. There are many pre-installed templates, but you can get additional templates on LightScribe.com by clicking on this link. For now, I'll just go ahead and use the picture frame template. The next step is to insert your pictures, and the easiest way to do that is just by double-clicking the window selection where the pictures would go. A file window will appear to allow you to select your pictures, and I'll click on thumbnail view to better allow me to view it, and select a picture, and click open to insert it. Now once your picture is inserted, you can use your zoom buttons here to zoom, and drag to relocate and position your picture. Or you can simply click Fit to best fit your picture to this window selection. I'll go ahead and repeat that here on the right hand side. Double click. I'll use thumbnail. And then this time I'm just going to double click my selection and the picture will appear. Another way to zoom is just by hovering your cursor over the image. So just click and then using the scroll wheel on your mouse and you can zoom and then reposition as you like. Note that depending on where the cursor is uh, placed, the zoom will originate at that point. The next step is to add your text. So double click the text box and you can type in the text as you like. And note that you can add more than one line of text depending on the template that you've chosen. And if you'd like to change the fonts, you can use the drop-down window here to choose what you like. You can also hover over the font selection and use your scroll wheel to change the, uh, the font. And as you can see, the fonts change in the preview window. And I'll just uh, use that one there. If you change your mind and would like to use a different template, you can actually just click on the back button and then use a different template. Let's say I'd like this other picture frame better. And note that the pictures and the text that you had entered previously are carried over to the new design. If you're satisfied with your label design, the third and last step is to preview and print your label design. So click on the print preview button. And here you will be able to see what your LightScribe label will look like. If you had purchased the LightScribe color background discs, you can preview your design in the various available colors. This is also a good time to double check that your LightScribe drive is listed and is recognized. And if you've got multiple LightScribe drives installed, you can click on the drop down window here to select the appropriate drive. We also recommend that the best contrast level is used for printing your LightScribe labels. And this is also a good time to insert a LightScribe disk label side down into your drive and simply hit or click print to start the print process. I do want to show you one more thing before we end this tutorial and that is the blank template. And I'll just go ahead and reset it here by uh, selecting the blank template. This can be very useful, especially with our older label gallery designs. I'll demonstrate that by adding one of the 
label gallery designs that I had downloaded previously. So just as before, I'll just double click the selection and change the text. And there you have it. Now you see how easy the template labeler is, so you can give it a try yourself. Thanks for watching, and thanks for your interest in Lightscribe.